So tell me, as a Nigerian, would you rather commit a crime that will make you go to prison in the U.S., like 20 years imprisonment, the way Nigeria is now, or stay in Nigeria as a free man? <laughs> this is the question I want us to deliberate on in this video today. Welcome to Inspiration Gist with Dora. This is where we talk about real life issues that affect us in our society. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, please click, click on that subscribe button right now, okay, to join this wonderful family. Here we rub minds together on issues of life and we learn from one another. Today, my dear people, as I was just going here and there on social media, I saw a story about two Nigerian or three of them Nigerian scammers. Okay, two are already in prison or have been sentenced to prison in the U.S. I don't know if you come across that, if you came across that story about um, a U.S. citizen by name Jordan, a 16 or 17 year old boy who was scammed by scammers from Nigeria and um, the whole thing led to his committing suicide. Yes. So right now, those guys have been arrested and they are in the U.S. In fact, they have been sentenced to about 17 years in prison. Now, the way it happened, before I get to why I did do this video, the question I asked at the beginning, let me tell you how it all happened. And also, there are so many lessons I want us to draw from this video. Even though we are gisting, just a gist, but there are serious issues of life, and especially parenting, the societal values and norms of these days that I actually want us to look into in this video. So please, I am begging you, if you remember a part of this channel, um, part of this wonderful family, don't keep your opinion, don't keep your advice, drop your opinion in the comment section. It will go a long way to encourage people or even help people. Who knows, okay? So the thing is that, according to the story, this guy, this boy named uh, Jordan, you know, um, got messages on his Instagram page from supposedly other females, uh, fellow college students. He was in the college. College is like secondary school in Nigeria. So he was in, he was in the college and they uh, got chatting with some other people. He thought that were also college students, girls, according to the story. And, um, they said they, they liked him and they want him to, you know, to be friends and all that. And the one thing led to the other, they asked him to post nude for them so that perhaps they want to know how handsome he is. <laughs> Teenage, like teenagers, like secondary school, you want to put it that way in the Nigerian context, secondary school students. Okay, so he posed nude for them and they took and sent uh, them his um, nude pictures. And it was after that they revealed themselves to him that they are scammers, that they hacked someone's um, Instagram accounts, and so that he needs to pay them money for them to destroy the pictures, otherwise they will make it go viral. Hmm. Not a small thing. So the boy, being a college student, they requested for $1,000. Being a college student, um, he didn't have the money. He had only 300 which he sent them according to the story, but they were not satisfied. They insisted they will, send, they will make the pictures um, go viral if he does not send them $1,000. And knowing perhaps his family status or his reputation or what, um, you know, what um, perhaps may happen to him and all that, he decided not to be shamed. He decided not to disappoint his family and friends and the whole world and decided to end his life. And before he did that, according to the story, he told them that he doesn't have any money, that if they were insisting, he's going to buy himself. And being in Nigeria, they don't understand these people over there. They were like, oh, go ahead and do it. You know, those, those, those guys from Nigeria may be joking. Go ahead and do it. We don't care. 
and he went ahead and he did it because he, don't, he didn't want to be alive and see himself in such a mess. That is a very sad story, right? Yes, a very sad sto story. So this guy, um, when the parents had the gunshot in their house. They came out and saw their son. They saw the what happened. And they, of course, they had to investigate because it is it is not normal what happened, who was the last person he spoke with and all that. And that's how they went to his uh, social media account or phone or whatever. And they saw the chat history and all that. And then investigation um started. You know that even though you just hide on, behind the camera and social media and post anything, if you they want to trace you, they will. So suddenly investigation um kicked kicked off and they discovered the scammers and they asked Nigerian government to, you know, um send them over to the US to go and serve their punishment, go um to court, be charged, they were charged in the US, and now they have bagged 17 years in prison. And then they are between ages, I think, uh, 35, uh, thereabouts. So, no, 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 no. Let me not give you a very wrong number. But they are still young men. Uh, they are two, around 20-something. I'm not very sure of the number, please. But they are still very young men, you know. So, my dear, the question now, a lot of issues, a lot of questions that are popping up uh, concerning this matter, you know, commenters, uh, commenters association, you know, will always come and they give us their own opinion. So in the comment section from where I got the story, you have people, you know, saying so many things and there are some points actually, before I get to the question, will you rather be in jail in the US or stay back in Nigeria as a free man? So, um, People talked about family, parents not taking care of their children. Uh, a, a lot of issues were raised. But the, what I want to talk about is giving secondary school um, students, or rather, let me say, giving underage, because they are 17 years is underage, right? Or 16 years freedom to go on social media and um, meet anybody i i don't i don't actually buy into that i don't know about you as a parent i never bought into that i'm not saying that um whatever what will happen will not happen because as we we all know uh, we usually say what will be will be yes what will be will be but then it's it's, it's good to curtail or take certain measures to um, checkmate some things. I think the 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 rate at which parents hand over an Android phone and even access to the internet to their kids at a very young age is not encouraging. It's good. giving them Android phone on time, access to social media does not help academics, so it doesn't. And I've seen that so many schools are withdrawing the use of all the sending children to the internet and all that. It doesn't help the academics. So, why was the reason why you just send your child to the social media at this early age to go and meet anybody? And anybody can hide behind the profile picture. Anything is accepted as a profile picture. If the social media, you know, platforms will insist that it should be your photo that will be on your on your profile picture. It will help, but this one you can put anything, just anything, as a profile picture, and it doesn't matter. So this boy fell victim. That's one. Too bad that he fell victim of these evil people. They are always there. They will always be there. So it's for us parents to actually know how we can go back to our values. Okay, you know, look at it. Look at him. He's a young person. He, ha he doesn't have experience in life. He doesn't have that maturity to handle this kind of thing. This is not the first time these scammers are threatening people. We have seen celebrities that we are uh, threatened, uh, so many of them. But mature people, grown-up people will always find a way to handle it. But look at this small boy, you know. That's one thing. Having access to the social media early enough, is it actually good for our children? This is the question I want you to please um, drop your opinion in the comment section. Okay, please. Let's rub mine together. Do you actually think it doesn't matter? And secondly, in the US, why is it that it's so common for children to have access to guns? This guy is gone. 
yes, these people are facing jail term. You know, in the U.S., um, capital punishment is no more. You know, it has been abolished. So it's either you're sent to life imprisonment or how many years in prison? And they've gotten 17 years. If they're around 20 something years, add 17 years to that. By the time they are 40 something, they'll be out. And life goes on. And <laughs> they went to jail in the US. That's even the funniest part of it. And this guy, the parents have suffered this loss. They will live for the rest of their life with this pain on of this the loss of this young boy, his friends, everything, loved ones and all that his siblings I you, you can't mention. All right. So um why is it that these people, for this boy to have access to gun within a space of six hours, according to the investigation, he started chatting with them within a space of six hours, he he was gone. How come he had access to gun? I mean, people in the U.S., you need to check check your this this your values. I don't understand. Okay, okay, that's the U.S. Coming back to my question, now we've talked about parents. Um, do you really think that it doesn't matter? Um, children of 16 years, 15 years, they can always um use the internet that you can monitor them. Some people are saying uh, monitor them, monitor what they are browsing. Mon in this life, with all the manipulation out there on social media, you think that even as a parent who is very busy at work with other things that you will be following up on social media to monitor, monitor. My dear, technology has not gotten to the extent that you can you can follow people like that. Even though it's possible to monitor people's movements. It's possible if someone, uh, if you set an, you know, a device, you can monitor something. But you know these children, <laughs> these children, we call them the whatever generation, they are very smart. I'm not saying that they are smarter than us. We are their parents. But I can tell you there are so many things that, so many little, little things that you may not have that time and energy to keep following about. I think the best thing is to... If a child is not up to 18, let the child not be exposed to the social media. Let them wait. Uh -uh. Life is not in a hurry. Let them wait. They can say use phone, use um phone, receive calls so that parents can, you know, um you know, follow up with them and all that. And in school, these days, such sites are restricted in some schools. You may not have access to some Google, Facebook and all that from the from their internet from their system okay so you see these institutions are also trying but at home these children are just so free to go on social media and stay for hours and making friends on instagram at this age anyway the boy jordan is gone may his soul rest in peace and i just pray the spirit and god will just comfort them all right that is what happened so let's like I say here, we always learn. We are here to learn. Please drop your own opinion in the comment section. Drop what you think about this matter in the current session. And also drop this matter again. The one that <laughs> he seems funny but it's not funny. That these guys that are in Nigeria scamming people the way the country is now. They now ended up being in the U.S. in prison. And people are saying, ah, this prison they went to in the U.S. So ah, ah, this one mm, will not be prison. Some people are saying that it's not prison, no. It's better they go to Nigeria and go to Kirikiri. That is not prison at all because you know how they are treated in the prison in the U.S. It's not like in Niger. So they'll be enjoying free food. If they were out there, they were hustling, you know, how to feed and all that. Now they will be enjoying free food. <laughs> and sometimes in the prison also people work and they get money and they save it. So... Uh, some people are saying that uh, uh, they should be sent back to Nigeria to go and actually do the normal prison. What do you think about that? And don't forget to answer my question. Will you rather commit and go to prison in the U.S. the way things are in Nigeria now? Or you stay back and uh, <laughs> have your freedom? But you know now, you know all the everything. So um, that's on a lighter note. Drop your comments in the comment section. Thank you so much. This is Inspiration G with Dora, where we talk about real life issues that affect us in our society. I will see you again in my next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.